This is a Russian Navy R334 Ivanovets hull number 954. Assigned to the Black Sea Fleet, she is a Project 12411 class missile boat, known to NATO as a Toronto 3 class missile corvette. On the night of January the 31st, 2024, Ministry of Defence of Ukraine reported that soldiers of its special unit Group 13 has destroyed the Ivanovets missile corvette. She is one of four of this type of class thought to be operating in the Black Sea. A video has been released by Ukraine's military intelligence agency, but more on this shortly. Here we have a screenshot taken from a Ukrainian sea drone as it approaches the corvette. This screenshot, although inconclusive that this is the Ivanovets, we can at least identify it is a Project 12411 vessel. We can also see that it has retained its two AK-630 30mm guns. This at least confirms that this is not one of its sister ships, specifically the R-60 Bura. Hull number 955, which removed its two 1976-designed AK-630 30mm guns in 2005. It is now fitted with a 1989 design, the Cortic Combat Module, a close-in weapon system that, ironically, is more capable of defending against fast attack boats. Here, in a tactic more akin to the German Kriegsmarine U-boat Wolfpack tactics of World War II, the Ukrainian Special Unit Group 13 launched a well-planned operation using mass Ukrainian sea drones attacking the vessel from different directions. The Ukrainian naval attack is reported to have occurred on Lake Denuzlav, Crimea, which connects the Black Sea via a man-made channel constructed in 1961. If this is true, it makes this attack even more remarkable. It should be noted on March the 7th, 2014, it was near the harbour entrance that Russian naval forces scuttled the 8,200 tons, 568 feet long, decommissioned battle cruiser Ochikov. The move was a precursor to the planned annexation of Crimea. This action resulted in more Ukrainian warships trapped within the harbour. The scuttled cruiser Ochikov was, later in the same year, raised and towed to one of the nearby piers within the harbour. This allowed the Russian Black Sea Fleet to commence naval operations from the captured Ukrainian naval base. From footage released of the Ukrainian Navy unmanned sea drones operation, we can piece together a rough idea of how the Avanets was attacked. However, we don't have precise timing or any verified order of attack. It appears the first sea drone packed with explosives chased the 180 foot vessel down, moving in from the starboard side of the corvette before turning directly towards the vessel's stern. This first drone struck the vessel with 300 kg of explosives, very lightly damaging the steering and rudder and propeller, slowing the ship's speed. A second sea drone, this time under intense weapons fire, is approaching the corvette from port side, manoeuvring and weaving from side to side while again targeting the vessel's stern. At some point a third drone struck and exploded amidships on the port side, leaving a large breach. Above the breach are two launch tubes, each containing a 32 foot long P270 Mosquit anti-ship cruise missile. Both would be fueled and armed with 300 kg of explosives. Now, dead in the water, the stricken corvette is beginning to take on thousands of litres of water every minute. A fourth sea drone appears, making its way to the large breach in the ship's hull. At speed, with no obvious incoming fire, it sets a course in an almost straight line. Appearing to almost enter the hull breach, it immediately detonates. A fifth sea drone approaches. The corvette, now seen listing on the video, suddenly cuts to an enormous explosion. It's unclear if the fifth drone delivered the fatal blow or whether the ship's munitions exploded. The blast was recorded by a sixth sea drone which continued its approach, recording the bow of the vessel above the water before it sinks completely. There are no visible sightings of any of the 50 crew members that would have been on board at the time. Thank <laughs> you.